السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ گڈ ڈے ہوپ یو آر انجوائنگ گڈ ہیلتھ آئی ایم حافظ بحید اللہ لیکچرر ان دا ڈپارٹمنٹ آف فارم اگنوزی فیکلٹی آف فارمیسی ہجویری یونیورسٹی لاہور ٹو ڈے وی ول اسٹڈی اینتھرا کی نون گلائکوسائڈ وچ از انادر کلاس آف گلائکوسائڈس اور ٹو ڈیز لیکچر از لیکچر نمبر 3 فرسٹ آف آل وی ول سی دا آؤٹ لائن آف ٹو ڈیز لیکچر ان ٹو ڈے لیکچر we will study introduction to anthraquinone glycosides crude drugs included in anthraquinone glycosides biological source geographical distribution chemical composition and medicinal uses of anthraquinone glycosides the learning outcomes for this lecture by end of this lecture you will be able to define and describe the anthraquinone glycosides and you will also be able to describe the biological source geographical distribution chemical composition and chemical structure of the main active constituents present in cascara aloe rhubarb cochineal and senna and you will also be able to understand the therapeutic and pharmaceutical uses of cascara aloe rhubarb cochineal and senna first of all we will define the anthraquinone glycosides the glycosides which on hydrolysis yield anthraquinone among the products of hydrolysis are called anthraquinone glycosides it means that the a glycone part in anthraquinone glycoside is anthraquinone and anthraquinone glycosides are mostly used as cathartic therapeutic use or medicinal use of anthraquinone glycoside is they are cathartic agent cathartic agent are those which have the property of laxative and purgative anthraquinone glycosides include the following crude drugs first cascara the second drug which is included in anthraquinone glycoside is aloe third one is rhubarb fourth one is cochineal and the last one is senna which is also known as sana maki in urdu the production of anthraquinone from anthracene follows these steps anthracene is oxidized and it is converted into anthranol and then oxidation of anthranol convert anthranol to anthrone and the oxidation of anthrone convert into oxanthrone and when oxanthrone is oxidized it is converted into anthraquinone anthraquinone is the a glycone derivative of anthracene anthraquinone is derived from anthracene and anthraquinones are acidic due to phenolic groups due to the presence of phenolic groups they are acidic in nature most occurring a glycone in anthraquinone glycosides are imodine which is 168 trihydroxy 3 methyl anthraquinone 13 oh sorry 1 hydroxyl is attached to 1 then carbon number carbon number 6 and then carbon number 8 168 trihydroxy and at number of at number carbon number 3 methyl group is attached so it becomes chemically 168 trihydroxy 3 methyl anthraquinone so amodine amodine is 168 trihydroxy 3 methyl anthraquinone and the second the most second most occurring a glycone is allo amodine and this is 18 dihydroxy 3 hydroxy methyl anthraquinone look here at carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 is hydroxyl group and carbon number 3 there is hydroxy methyl so it is 18 dihydroxy 3 1 8 dihydroxy 3 hydroxy methyl anthraquinone and another a glycone is amodine anthrone this is the structure of amodine anthrone in which at carbon number 1 carbon number 8 and carbon number 6 there are three hydroxyl group and on three methyl group is attached and one difference between amodine and an amodine anthrone is that here are two keto oxide groups and here is only one 
double bond O group. Allo emodin anthrone. Allo emodin anthrone is this this compound in which at carbon number one and carbon number eight is two hydroxyl group and at carbon number three Ca2OH is present and there is no double bond O on carbon number ten. The other A glycons are crisophenol, rein, crisophenol anthrone, and rein anthrone. Anthrone may also be present in dimeric form. They also be in dimeric form. Two anthrones similar to a different may condense at 10-10 position. See here, carbon number 10, carbon number 10. They are condensed at carbon number 10. Homo diethrone. If the dimers, if the two dimers are same, they are called homo diethrone. Like in this, this is rain and this is also rain. So, so it is rain diethrone. And if the dimers are of different class, then they are called heterodiethrones. For example, in alloamodin and rain, one compound is alloamodin and one is rain. So this dimer is heterodiethrone because both both dimers are different. Now we will study each drug one by one. First of all, we will study Cascara. Cascara is the dried bark of Ramnus persiana family Remnese. It should be aged for at least one year prior to use in medicinal preparation. For the curing purpose, as I discussed in the last lecture that sometime we need curing process, slow drying process to convert precursor into actual compounds which we required. Reduce forms of the amodin glycosides are present in the fresh bark. During the minimum one year storage period, these glycosides are converted to monomeric oxidized glycoside, which exhibit a middle cathartic activity. So, cathartic activity belongs to monomeric oxidized glycosides. The plant is tree that attains a height of 10 meters. This is the picture of Cascara plant. These are leaves, these are fruits. Uh, memorize these structure, identification, identification structure. They will help you to identify that the, that the plant is uh, Cascara or any other plant. And this is a Cascara bark. Chemical composition. The cascara sagrada bark is found to contain two major types of anthracene compounds, namely normal O glycosides. These are based on amodin like structures and consist about 10 to 20 percent of the total glycosides and, and other classy alloin like C glycoside. These comprise, comprise of about 80 to 90 percent of the total glycoside. So, first thing is that Chemically, there are two types of anthracene compounds in Cascara sagrada. One are normal O glycoside and another are alloin like C glycoside. Normal O glycoside are present in 20% and alloin like C glycoside, they are comprised of about 80 to 90 percent of the total glycoside present in the Cascara sagrada. The two C glycoside are known as barbaloin and deoxybarbaloin, which are also known as chrysaloin. Other chemical which are present, <coughs> sorry, the main active constituents are four glycoside, usually designed as cascaroside A, B, C, and D. It has been established that the cascaroside A and B are solely based on optical isomers of barbaloin. They are optical isomers of barbaloin, whereas cascaroside C and D on optical isomers of deoxybarbaloin. This is the structure of barbaloin. Here is the anthra quinone part and this is sugar part this is deoxybarbaloin which is also known as chrysaline cascaroside this is barbaloin this is deoxybarbaloin which is also known as chrysaline this anthra quinone and sugar molecule are attached at carbon number 10 okay look at this this r group if this r group is oh then this is known as cascaroside a and if this R is H, then cascaroside B. So cascaroside A, B is different only due to the difference in the R. If the R is OH, it is cascaroside E. And if the if here R is H, then cascaroside B is formed. Medicinal uses of 
cascaran segreda correction of habitual constipation this is the main use of cascaran segreda that it it is used to treat habitual constipation it not only acts as a laxative but restores natural tone of the colon it is also used as cathartic <laughs> the second drug is aloe which is included in the syllabus and it is also included in the anthraquinone glycosides aloe or aloes is a dried latex of the leaves of aloe barbadensis which is also known as aloe vera or of a aloe ferox and hybrids of this species with aloe Afri africana or aloe spicata these four species are utilized for aloe family family of aloe is liliaceae drug obtained from aloe barbadensis aloe vera is known in commerce as curacao aloe and the second one is known as cape aloe drug obtained from aloe ferox and hybrids of this species with aloe aloe africana and aloe spicata is known in commerce as cape aloe so it means that there are two type of aloe one is curacao aloe and the second one is cape aloe this is the picture of aloe barbadensis collection and preparation how aloe is collected and when is collected leaves are cut in march and april so the best or ideal collection time for aloe is march and april leaves are cut cut ends are placed downward on a v shaped trough then this trough is inclined to direct the latex to a vessel the collected latex is evaporated in a copper kettle after getting proper consistency poured into metal containers and allowed to harden into different shapes which are utilized after that chemical composition what are chemical which are present in aloe vera aloe ferox aloe africana or aloe spicata first main structure is barbaloin and this is a major constituent which is present in the aloe a glycone part is allo amodin anthrone alloinoside o glycoside of barbaloin with an additional sugar allo amodin the structure of this compound we have studied earlier so you can go through the earlier structures to understand this chrysophenic acid other compound is chrysophenic acid and there is a difference between the percentage of compounds in curacao aloe and cape aloe curacao aloe is superior to cape aloe because it contain 2 and 1/2 times much aloe amodin curacao <coughs> curacao or aloe barbadensis or aloe vera contains 2 and 1/2 more aloe amodin in it aloe also contains inactive ingredients they are resinous material and volatile oil <coughs> Aloin what is aloin aloin is a mixture of active principle obtained from aloe it varies in chemical composition and in physical and chemical properties according to the variety of aloe from which it is it is derived different species and different varieties produce different amount of the uh, active constituent which are present in the aloe this is a structure of aloe amodin medicinal uses of aloe as we studied earlier that most of the plant which are included in uh, anthraquinone glycoside are uh, or the plants which have anthraquinone glycoside are cathartic so first use of aloe is that it is used as a cathartic agent second pharmaceutical aid for compound benzoin tincture recommended to treat third degree x ray burns and atomic radiation burns at present available in the form of ointment containing fresh gel this ointment is recommended for the treatment of sunburns deep thermal burns and radiations so it is very useful for the treatment of burns either they are sunburns either they are radiation burns either are deep thermal burns the best choice is aloe it relieves pain and itching and tends to minimize ulceration rubab third drug which is included in anthraquinone glycoside is rubab and biological source of rubab is that rubab rheum or chinese rubab consists of the dried rhizome and roots that are deprived of periderm tissues of 
रेम ऑफिसनेल आर ऑफ रेम पालमेटम रेम ऑफिसनेल आर रेम पालमेटम ऑफ अदर स्पीशीज एक्सेप्ट आर रेपो टेनिकम आर ऑफ हाइब्रिड ऑफ रेम फैमिली पोलीगोनेसी फैमिली ऑफ रुबाबिस पोलीगोनेसी एंड आर ग्रोन इन चाइना देर इज आल्सो इंडियन रुबार्ब इंडियन रुबाब और हिमालयन रुबाब कंसिस्ट ऑफ द ड्राई ड्राइजोम एंड रूट्स ऑफ रेम एमोडी आर रेम वेबियनम आर ऑफ द सम रिलेटेड रेम स्पीशीज फैमिली पोलीगोनेसी दैट आर नेटिव टू इंडिया पाकिस्तान और नेपाल दोज विच आर प्रेजेंट इन इंडिया पाकिस्तान नेपाल आर नोन एज इंडियन रुबाब और हिमालयन रुबाब and the other one which is present in china is known as rheum officinal rheum palmatum this is the image of rheum rubab this is the image of rhizome of rubab it will help you in the organoleptic evaluation of these drugs chemical composition rubab contain cresophenol and its glycoside cresophenin it also contain aloemodin and its glycoside glucoaloemodin rain and its glycoside glucorain emodin and here homo dianthrones are present which are cyanoside a and b dianthrone of rains it also contain heterodianthrones and they are of three types heterodianthrones are those in which di uh, dimer are of different class palmitin a it is dianthrone of aloemodin anthrone and emodin anthrone palmitin b it is a dianthrone of aloemodin anthrone and cresophenol anthrone and palmitin c is dianthrone of emodin anthrone and cresophenol anthrone and these are the structure of palmitin a palmitin b and palmitin c and their dimeric compounds uses it is used as a cathartic agent the fourth one is cochineal and cochineal is of animal origin not in plant origin five drugs are included in the anthraquinone glycoside four are of plant origin which are sana rubab aloe and sana and cascara sorry four and fifth one is cochineal which is of animal origin cochineal consist of dried female insects dactylopheus coccus it is also known as coccus cacti coccus mean round containing eggs and larvae order hemiptera geographical distribution cochineal insects are indigenous to central america they are present in central america and this is the image of cochineal chemical composition Cochineal yield contain carminic acid 10%. This is C-glycoside anthraquinone derivative. It also has fat 10% and wax 2%. Chemical structure of carminic acid. This is the anthraquinone anthraquinone part and this is the sugar part of carminic acid. Uses of cochineal. Yield. It is used as a curling agent for liquids and solid and it is also used as a indicator. The last drug which is included in anthraquinone glycoside is sana which is also known as sana maki in urdu language sana or sana leaf consist of the dried leaflet of cassia acutifolia or of cassia angustifolia family leguminosae drug obtained from cassia acutifolia is known in commerce as alexandria sana and the drug obtained from cassia angustifolia is known in commerce as a tenevelli sana there are two varieties of sana which are present in the commerce and which are used in the commerce so you must know the commercial name of these sanas first one is alexandria sana and tenevelli sana so you must know the difference between alexandria sana and tenevelli sana sana was introduced into european medicine in the 9th or 10th century by arabians chemical composition of sana principal active constituent of sana are dimeric glycosides whose a glycone are comprised of aloemodin or rain sanoside a and b they are present in greatest concentration it is a pair of optical isomers a glycone is rain dianthrone and they are homo dianthrone sanoside c and d minor constituents 
एक लाइकोन इज डायमर एंड कंप्राइज ऑफ वन मालिक्यूल ऑफ रेन एंड वन मालिक्यूल ऑफ एलो एमोडिन हेट्रो डाइथ्रोन आर दे केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर इज दिस द केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सैनोसाइड ए डायमर मेडिसिनल यूजेज ऑफ सैना सैना इज यूज एज कैथार्टिक वी हैव स्टडी दैट वन वन मेन पॉइंट which connect all the drugs that that all the anthraquinone glycosides are cathartic except cochineal which is only used for as a indicating agent summary what we have learned in our today's lecture we will go through again anthraquinone is the a glycone derivative of anthracene the glycoside which on hydrolysis yield anthraquinone among the products of hydrolysis are called anthraquinone glycoside and thirdly we studied that anthraquinone glycosides are mostly used as cathartic agent and cascara alo rubab cochineal and sana contains anthraquinone glycoside and we also gone through uh, the biological source geographical distribution and for some drug we also studied preparation and collection and chemical structure chemical composition and medicinal uses of the anthraquinone glycosides I will always recommend you to go through these books to study more authenticated knowledge because these textbooks are very useful sources for studying. So, following books were considered during lectures to enhance your knowledge. I will suggest that you must read chapter of glycoside from these books and also go through these these topics. The books are number one, Trees and Evans, Pharmacognosy, author name Evans W C. the second book textbook of pharmacognosy written by muhammad ali and the third one is pharmacognosy by vero e tyler thank you for listening write any question pertaining to this lecture on google classroom discussion board i will reply to your all questions there jazakallah khair